the future of the port of Green Bay. I'm your Green Bay Neighborhood reporter Andrew Amuzu with more from local and state officials on the millions it's generating and its upcoming projects. It's a major impact on life in Green Bay. Every year it's generating $200 million of economic growth. Brown County Executive Troy Streckenbach says the port affects everything from agriculture to manufacturing. If they were not able to source those products here through one of the most efficient methods through water transport, all those costs go up. In a port symposium Wednesday morning, local officials highlighted the port's growth. Throughout our, our history as a city, um, it really has been a focus on the river as industry. According to the Harbor Commission, the port supports more than 1,600 jobs and shipping increased by 3% from 2022 to about 1.4 million metric tons last year. Together with these, with the, these programs, we're building a 21st century infrastructure Wisconsin needs to support a 21st century workforce and economy. Governor Tony Evers spoke at the symposium about the need to expand the port's pulley and power plant, which could move coal piles away from downtown Green Bay. But our first and foremost project really is to get that site to be ready to handle all commodities of the future. With the rising cost of materials, the city says it needs $22 million to finish land expansion at the plant. Officials say that could be covered by June. Impact and growth, they say, will make Brown County more competitive. Lots of pieces, but this is one of the important ones. An official with the U.S. Department of Transportation says that the goal is to have more shipping from Europe come to the port of Green Bay and those alike. He says that international shipping efforts is also expected to grow in the Great Lakes this season. In Green Bay, Andrew Amuzu, NBC 26.